Now, am I right in thinking you've got, I'm seeing some incredible mandalas here. What demo are you doing? Yes, I'm going to demonstrate a mandala, which is one of the prompts in the book. Brilliant. Um, now, I'm going to start getting out rulers huh? and a pair of compasses. We're back to maths class, okay. but it's just for the start to give us a foundation. Okay. Um, so I've got a square piece of paper, which uh -huh. is super handy, but you could just draw a square on a rectangular piece of paper if you want. Okay, so yeah. I've just divided the page horizontally, vertically. Okay and drawn across down the middle, so got it's divided. You. So you then grab your pair of compasses. Um, so I've got a standard pencil in there, it's nothing special, a normal pencil. Okay. These, um, again, not expensive. And I'm just gonna draw some circles, and it doesn't matter where they are, but you pop your point of your compass in the very centre here. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna draw a few at random. So it doesn't matter, there's no rules on no how rules. Okay. No. Right. So now, this is where the fun part comes in. This is where you can start to draw shapes within the little sections that you've done. So for example, I'm gonna draw like a little arch shape that goes in here between these two lines. Okay, you can draw an arch. And again, doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. um, this is process over perfection. This is where we can kind of relax. And where I've drawn it in one section, we can just turn around okay. and draw it in all the other sections. So what I can also do here is I can do some more straight lines. I can up here so I've got more of a star shape in the centre. Um, so another another sort of shape that's quite nice is kind of little um, arches. So if I draw maybe sort of three little curved shapes here, uh, yeah, that yeah. would kind of work. Mm -hmm. um, and you can just get creative with it. And the good thing, I'm working in pencil, so if there is a shape that you put down that you don't like, you can just can rub it out. Do, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's no sketchbook police, they're not <laughs> going to come and get you. <laughs> It's your sketchbook, do what you want. Another nice shape to do is sort of almost like a leaf shape. That's quite a nice shape to do. You know, and I might put things like little circles in here so I can start to fill in the gaps with smaller details. Yeah. Um, and as you can see, I'm still working in pencil, so if I didn't like something, I could take it yeah. out. But I tend to just go for it and yeah, I, like I don't it. worry too much because there's always another page. Do you tend to colour yours in? I, I do, I do yeah. very often. And I've brought some colouring pencils here just to show you how I would add colour onto something like this. Uh -huh. Like this one, for example, yeah. that we showed up, this is a rainbow. Um, so yeah. it starts with the red in the middle and works out using Lovely. rainbow colours. That's another really That's great um, way of using colour. Yeah. And then once I've done my pen drawing, what I would normally do is rub out my pencil lines underneath, mm -hmm. and then I can start to add colour. So let me add maybe a little bit of yellow into the middle of this little flower. This book is absolutely phenomenal, okay? and it's. All of that work, all of those tips and hints, and, and that's what I love in this book as well. Can I just show you this? As I, can I turn this around? Mm. I love it the way you've done it and put it together with Maz and Search Press, where you've got Susan Says, but it's like little little notes, and it just gives you all the hints and tips from Susan. I think that's a really lovely touch. And as you said, the way these books are laid out and, and it is, is so clean and yet still yeah. very stimulating, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. beautiful. They really are fab. Now this, Susan looks exciting. It's very exciting. We're getting messy now. Oh, we like to get messy, <laughs> don't we? Now, can I just ask, now when you, you said that your very, very first book that you wrote, this lady has written 11 books, 11 books. Um, this is how you started, wasn't it? Yes, with Lino Cup. So I did printmaking at university, which is a very niche art form. Okay. Um, so I've always loved lino cutting. So you draw your design in, and then you've got little cutting tools. So if I was gonna carve something like this teacup, I would try and follow along my pencil line. I hold it at a 45 degree angle, roughly like that, and I push down, and that carves out a little bit of lino. And you do it in little bits, just gently pushing away from you, carving out the bits that you don't want. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pour out a little bit of this, um, printing ink down. And that's just onto like a glass mat, it's, is it's it? It's a glass cutting mat, but you can use like a kitchen um, tray, um, a plastic tray. Then I'm going to get my little roller, and then this is where we start to get messy and we make a nice noise. And you just roll this backwards and forwards so that you get an even covering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the ink from where I've rolled it out on the roller, mm -hmm. and I'm going to place it and just roll it onto the top of my lino block. And I'm going to pop this inked up lino face up yep. in the middle of this piece of paper. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my printing paper, which again is another clean blank piece of paper. I'm just going to pop it over the top. Now this does require a little bit of um, hard work because I've got to push down on the back of this. 
And then we have our peel and reveal. This is the super oh, the fun bit. The peel and reveal. The peel and reveal, yeah. where we lift this up. Oh. And then oh, we get... Oh, Susan. Our cup. And so you can see where there's white, that's what I've carved out. And in the book, there's 10 different projects. Fabulous. So liner cut can be used on paper to make fine art prints, oh, or right. you can do stuff like this. You can make greetings cards. Um, this little Robin guy was a little greetings wow. card that I made. Um, I also, you can print onto fabric oh, too. Yes, you can. So I've got these little jam jar covers. So these go on the top of a little jam jar. Tea oh, towel, you tea picked towels. up the tea towel. Look at the tea towels, these are brilliant. Yeah, so liner cut can be used on paper and fabric, essentially. When everybody wants to go to your website, what are we looking <laughs> for, Susan? So it's my name, basically. It's okay. susanyates.co.uk, and I've got a funny spelt name. So it's Susan Yates, Y-E-A-T-E-S. Um, okay. And I've got loads of examples, demonstrations, courses, and a membership on there. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. It's been Thank super you. fun. Absolutely enjoyable. You are amazing, and, and good luck with the books. Thank you very much. Okay.